Hello, and welcome to the Open Dental Sheet Type webinar. In this webinar, we will cover an overview of each sheet type, how each sheet type is used, and setting default sheet types. To find your sheet types, you must go to Setup, and then you go to Sheets. Create a new sheet, just click on New, and you're given with a lot of different choices. First thing you need to keep in mind is that you cannot change this sheet type later. So once you select it, you are stuck with this for the rest of your sheet. If you need to change it to something else because it doesn't have the fields that you want, you need to start over. So it's very important that you select the correct sheet type the very first time. To start off, we're going to start with the patient form. Patient form is going to be your basic form you're going to use for most things. This includes patient registration, general consent, HIPAA, office policies, and generally anything that you want to have online that does not require a witness signature. The nice thing about the patient form is that it has many fields that you can import into Open Dental. So if we take a look at the sheet type patient form, we do have input fields and checkboxes that are going to be related to that specific field. So in this case, we're going to be looking at addresses, city, state, zip, insurance information, all of this that is only available in the patient form sheet type. You cannot use this on medical history or consent, nor can you find this information in any other sheet type. So this is why it's very important to select the correct sheet type the first time. The next sheet type that we're going to go over is going to be the medical history. This is going to be for exactly what its namesake is, medical history forms, also dental history. Anything that you want to import the medical history information, so allergies, medical problems, medications, they're going to require the medical history form. You'll see with the input fields on this, they're going to be different. You have input medication fields instead of having insurance information. You do not have demographic information like phone numbers or addresses. So again, important to select the correct sheet type. Now the nice thing with both the patient form and the medical history form are they're both usable online. As long as you have the patient's first name, last name, and birth date set up, you can use them on your web forms on your website. The next form we're going to go over is going to be the consent form. The consent form is very easy and has very few options because it requires very few options, but it has some really robust tools that are going to be very beneficial for your office. So with the consent form, we're going to find that instead of having a lot of input fields, we only have tooth number and a miscellaneous. But instead, we're going to have the ability to output information from your Open Dental database to the sheet type. Because of this fact, you cannot use consent forms online. There is no way of pulling the information from your Open Dental database into one link that goes to every person on the internet. So if you want to have your forms online, they cannot be a consent form sheet type. However, the benefit of having a consent form sheet type means that you're going to be able to use this consent type in automation. Once you have the automation set up, you can then have the sheet automatically pop up once the procedure code has been charted out. So this is great for things like extractions, for example, where you actually chart out the extraction, then the extraction consent comes up right afterwards. Again, can only be used in the consent sheet type. The next sheet type we're going to go over is going to be the referral slip. The referral slip is going to be what you send to other offices. Referral slips do not need to be very detailed. Generally, they just have the basic information that you want to send to the other office. You'll find that with a referral slip, you're not going to find much information other than your basic output fields for the patient and your basic notes for the what you type in and get sent to the office. 
the next sheet type we'll go over is the referral letter. And the referral letter is going to be just that. It's a thank you for referring this patient to our office. It's not meant to be intensive. It's not meant to have a lot of detail. It's mostly literally just to say thank you for referring such and such to our office. There are some things that can be added to it, but don't expect a lot of features for this particular sheet type. The next sheet type is going to be the prescription sheet type, or RX. If you're still printing off prescriptions to take to the pharmacy, there are specific things that you need to have on here. So we're gonna pull up the internal form to take a look at those. By default, we do have the DEA number, we do have all your clinic information, and then patient information. Sometimes you may need to have an individual provider's NPI number as well. That can be added, but you have to make sure that you don't just do it as a static text. Static text are just going to be words that are on every single sheet of this particular type that you create. If you want to have an NPI that's unique to each individual provider, you're going to need to create a new form that's going to have the output text for the NPI. That's going to be prov.nationalprovid. If we were to select that and put this somewhere, this is going to show the provider's NPI number based off of the provider that's logging in and doing this prescription. So it's going to be very vital that you use this and not a generic static text. So let's go ahead and open up a routing slip. We'll copy one over and we can see that there's a lot of information that comes in for that appointment. However, all of this information is simply static text. So if we open the static text, we see we have this click to insert field. This is where the appointment information comes into play. It's all information that's already in the database corresponding to the appointment. None of it is information that's being input by the doctor or a patient. So there should not be any need to have any sort of input from someone in the office. It's all output from the database to the sheet. So the information can be then printed off and taken to the back room. The next sheet type we're gonna go over is the exam sheet. This is going to be used for evaluations, chair side questionnaires, things that are mostly check off of boxes of what the patient does and does not have. This is not going to be interactive for the patient. They should never see these forms. These are just for your office, for your providers, for your staff to be able to use to evaluate the patient. You'll find with the evaluations in the exam sheet here, they're going to have slightly different layout as well, but they're also extremely robust. So if we copy this over and look at what we have available to us, it looks very basic, but since you don't need to import any information, this is going to be perfect. You can make as much or as little of these as you want. You can have numerous checkboxes, multiple input fields. You can have literally hundreds of different fields in here for you to fill out, or you can have it as simplistic as what you see here. It is very robust and customizable to what your needs are. If at any point in time you find that your office needs more than what you're capable of creating in a sheet, that's okay. We do offer our services on, in the link below to actually request a custom sheet to be created. So the next sheet type we're going to look at is the treatment plan. The treatment plan is going to be for your printed treatment plans uh, to give to the patients or maybe to file away if your office still files away paperwork. Big thing you need to keep in mind with the treatment plan is it's not super customizable. Most offices will think that they can put in things like a payment plan option or different financial information and that's not what the treatment plan uh, sheet type is for. It's just to show you what you already have in the treatment plan area. So if we take a look at a treatment plan cheat type, we're gonna find that it just has some basic information that we're already used to seeing in the sheet for a treatment plan. You have the odontogram, you have your uh, grids for your procedures, for the insurance, and your treatment plan notes. We can add static text to this. 
but we cannot add input fields. So if you want to type in something specific and unique, there's not a good way of doing this. There are some workarounds, but there's not a good way of adding information on the fly from the provider, from the assistant, or anyone else. So if you want something done specific for a treatment plan, I recommend reaching out to us and seeing if it's even possible. And again, we may have to see about the possibility of doing a custom form, but even then our abilities are very limited what we can do with the treatment plan. So now we're going to look at the statement sheet type. This is gonna be kind of the same thing with the treatment plan. There are some things that we can do, but there's not a lot. And honestly, there's not a lot that usually needs to be done because there is a lot of information in the grids that are available. So if we pull over a statement and look at this, we're going to find that it's just like we already see built into Open Dental. One thing that's kind of unique with this is that the header information will change based off of the statement type that you are using, whether it's an invoice or a statement, walkout, whatever. So that is unique to the, to the statement sheet type. It doesn't happen in any other sheet type. Other than that, not much we can do here other than editing, moving things around. We can add some more text if you wanna add things like uh, collection information or past due information, or just general, hey, happy holidays. Those things can be added to your sheets at any time with the static text. But again, not a lot of detailed information that can be manipulated in these sheets. The last sheet type that I want to go over is the payment plan. The payment plan sheet type is going to be used for printing for the patient's copy or if you want them to manually sign and you file that away. It's not something that really needs to be manipulated other than the wording that you want to have. And it's going to be something that's very easy to change just because it's going to be wording based. So if we open up a payment plan, really the information that is going to be pertinent for this form is going to be automatically entered in into this grid. Anything else is going to be just static text that you can edit and add things at a later time, move around, make adjustments. The last thing I wanna bring up about these sheet types is that some do require some sort of enabling to be used as custom forms in Open Dental. What this means is that some of them, when you create them, will automatically be available to see. For example, a patient form. If you go into the form section here, you will find them available to add. So the payment plans do need to be enabled. For that, you go into setup, you go into the account information, you go over all the way to the right, and we're going to have payment plans use sheets, pay plans use sheets. If you want to use a customized pay plan, you need to enable it here for it to be able to work. A few other adjustments that need to be made for certain sheet types to work are going to be in the, under the defaults down here in the lower left corner of this page. If you want to make different statements based off of the statement type, you can select which one's going to be used for each different statement type. Additionally, if you want to enable custom prescriptions, you have to enable them here, which one you want to use. Otherwise, it's going to use the default internal one. Same thing goes for the treatment plan. It'll use the default internal one unless you tell it otherwise. And the chart layout, which we did not go over, would also need to be adjusted here. The chart layout is simply the layout that you can enable or disable for your chart module. Currently it has a default one that looks like this. It can be edited to move things around. However, it's not a normal sheet type, so it's why it was not covered in this. If you do have questions on enabling and changing the chart, you can go ahead and give us a call and we can help you out with that. Thank you for listening to this webinar. Hopefully you've got the information you need to make successful sheets that'll work the way you want them to. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Or if you want us to make any custom sheets, just follow the link below and we can go ahead and quote you out to make you the forms that you need. Thank you and have a wonderful day.
Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.